morning. All right, today is very rainy. And for most people, that's a, oh, that's awful. Let's stay in today. For us, it's exciting because it means it fills up our IBCs. We've got a galvanised tank, which is full, which has then overflowed into our IBC, which is now at its brim. We got three new IBCs, or not new, but second-hand food grade ones um, that we haven't cleaned out properly yet. But rather than waste all the water that we've had or the rain we've had overnight, all day yesterday, and it's going to continue today. We, I'll flick you round so you can see Ben, we are just about to give at least one of them a rinse out so we can capture this so we're not wasting it. There's Ben over there. Yeah, that's last night's rain. Wow. <laughs> I emptied those yesterday afternoon. I'm going to try and find somewhere to put you down. Maybe on top of the other IBC. I can show you the we oh, oh, oh. stand over here. It's a little bit muddy and wet around here. We've got boards down, which gets us across the garden. But obviously you can't cover the whole of your garden. It's just the overflow running. Into that one. Out the top tank. Yeah. So yeah, it's an exciting time for us when it rains. Um, we still haven't got round to getting all this timber back in because we're doing the joists, but we're nearing an end. Oh, we're nearing an end with that. I'm going to try and find somewhere to stand the camera so you can watch. We're just going to tilt it, get the cleaning fluid because we don't know what they've been in, what's been in them. Um, they are food grade, so it's not harmful. But we have to shower in this water, so it'd be nice to not be covered in maybe Coke syrup or whatever it is whatever that's in them. Because <laughs> it's not always food as you know it. No, it's concentrated syrups and... Right, one second and I will stick you down so I can help Ben. Right, let's pause that a minute. I'm just pressing record again. I'll put the camera down, but I wanted you to hear. That's the overflow from the galvanised tank. And it stopped. It will go again. <laughs> Listen to that. We're collecting water. <laughs> I think we had, I think there was about 800 litres collected last night. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? Good eye. Just overnight. Lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some rain. Bonkers, isn't it? Mm. It's not until you do this that you realise how much water is wasted. Yeah from the rain when you don't collect it when we lived in england you go to the toilet your toilet fills up and then the next time you go to the toilet you flush it yeah but that's treated water which you're paying for our toilet since we've been here is just flushing on rain water and it doesn't cost us yeah. a penny and our washing machine yeah and without being some kind of eco warrior <laughs> i think we could it's a nuisance if you haven't got some way of getting rainwater to flush your toilet but you just yeah. save so much money it does does make you realize, realize doesn't it yeah you can drink the water that's filling up your toilet to flush with it's just a waste of clean water just use rainwater mm. <laughs> yeah hopefully in time because we we pretty much have zero chance of being connected to the mains because we're too far away. We're like 375 metres from the nearest main supply, which by the time 
it got down to us would be such a trickle it's just not viable no. so the the water company wouldn't connect us we have the option of a well and there is a grant but all the time we can collect rainwater and we can collect enough yeah to sustain us maybe in time we might decide the well is the, way the better go. option but at the moment we're doing okay on this yeah and now we've got the three new ibcs hopefully we'll be collecting a lot more right right we're going yeah on its side yeah ready yep yeah. that's it Is there going to be enough room to do that one as well, do you think? Yeah, should be. <coughs> and then I'll push that one back up. Oh, it needs the lid on. Uh, hang on. Huge lid. Huh? Huge lid. Yeah, they are, aren't they? But people make showers out of these shower cubicles we've yeah, seen do. shower cubicles yeah. haven't we what they is it two yeah one on top cut, of the other cut open on the top one on top of the other yeah and then because you've got the metal cage to keep it rigid but yeah you can make a shower cubicle i'm sure there's plenty of things that you can make out of them yeah tons ready <sighs> Okay. That one's heavier. I was going to say, you're out the way. Yeah. Uh, nothing to grab. There we go. Well, should we do that nasty one as well? Should we empty that? Yeah, but we give this one a swish. So we've yeah. got the space to swish it a bit and then... That's all right. I'll it, go this end. It will swish anyway. Again? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Water was in the wrong place. <laughs> That'll do, that can sit there for a bit. Yep. All right. Oh, it's so squelchy. Right. Oh, hang on. I've got to move you because we're going to turn this one over one second. Get on to the first IBC. What are you looking at? Just the syrup that was in here. Oh. There's no smell to it. Sadly, it wasn't golden syrup. Look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Don't waste it. We've got nowhere to put it. I know. <coughs> this is going to be heavier, this one, isn't it? Yeah, very. Oh, and it's on a higher, slight higher pallet. Right, where are we going? Do you mm -hmm. come into the end or...? Is that enough? Yeah. Not sure. Right. I think you might have to Both come. of us. Yeah. Ready? You might have to do it. Oh. Yeah, well done. Got your foot out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, go on. Drop. In there. Ah. Looks like sludge still in the Chicken's bottom. Chicken's and ice. I hope not. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this one, the other two, not too bad. They're more, they had more a liquidy substance in them that 
really there wasn't much in there at all but this one here what do you reckon three inches of syrup syrup yeah it looked like golden syrup mm. i think it's thinner than it was now yeah but it is still quite syrupy really it needs some hot water yeah to dissolve it they're good um openers aren't they yeah We lean them on their sides, rinse them out, turn it, rinse it, turn it, rinse it. Look at all that wasted water. I thought we got nowhere to put it. No. It's nuts. I might pop in very briefly and show you. No, I might not actually. I might show you the workshop later. Oh. When the lights are on, it looks quite spectacular. In our standards, anyway. <laughs> We've lowered our standards <laughs> a little bit. Look at it. This is called off-grid living. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> when you stand back. But our water's free. At present, our electricity is, is free from these. It's not free from the generator. But it's like Ben said yesterday, because we were just finishing up yesterday evening. Ben's up on the trestles doing noggins, if I can... In there, there's the noggin. No, that, there's the trestle. Ben was up there. I was up against the chimney breast wall doing some liming up there and all of a sudden it went pitch black because the generator ran out of petrol and Ben said hmm well that's cost us 32 euros to run today or to do this work today but then he did also say but if we weren't doing it ourselves and we'd um, hired someone in to do it it would cost us so more. much more than 32 euros so to us it is a lot of money to go in a generator to help you do a bit of work but it's a lot less than having someone to do it Paying for you contractor yeah so i think from now on that's how we're going to gauge our life yeah how much we've actually saved how much are we how saving much spend by doing it ourselves we might not be able to walk at the end of it where we've destroyed every <laughs> joint in our body but as long as it's warm and cozy it's fine it's just full to the brim let me come over let me squelch over oh my god that one's deep down there oh my goodness look at that that was I had 200 litres in it yesterday. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Just a day and an overnight. Yeah. Has filled all of that tank up there to the point of overflowing into that one to fill that. It's a thousand litres, isn't it? Yeah. And that's why we need to get the other three cleaned and connected up. All of this we hope to get some kind of mini digger in once we've done the joists in the living room because this is just not going to go away on its own is it so no. we're probably going to scrape this bit back maybe all the way around the house we're not 100 percent sure yet and see what we'll do after that but there you go that's the joys of off-grid living but we like it we do we do like it and once this is tidy out here it will feel much much better yeah we're, we're um we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel aren't we yeah we've, we've yeah um, we, we get in there yeah we've got kitchen floor and a bedroom above it sorted 
we're almost. Hello. Oh, I was wondering if it's a timber. No. No. We're almost uh, done on the living room, ceiling, bedroom floor, and then it's out here to sort out here a little bit once we've done that, isn't it? Yeah. Outside, ready for the winter. Yeah. Can't wait. We're not close That's enough us. together. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Like a smurf. <laughs> Apart from I'm not blue. No, I no. was going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's us anyway. Thank you for joining us on our rain collection yeah. adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.